So hello, welcome to a new episode. Now it's the same day as the last week's video that you watched. And uh, we have found a classic vintage bush graveyard. Now this area is out of 10, 10 being the, the dodgiest places I've been and one being a walk in the park. This is definitely a 15. So let's get on with it and uh, get out of here. Right then, the first bus is over here. I'm not going to go into every one of these coaches, I'm just going to give you a bit of a look around. The, uh, the thing about this location is the, the main gate is locked from the inside, so it's kind of, do you know what I mean? And this one, serious chassis with the engine. Oh, that's nothing left that one, is there? Nothing left of this old girl. Oh, she was a double turner. I just felt like sitting on these seats, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to sit on these seats, but... You could turn this into a really good camper. Well, you could have. You can't anymore. She's rotten. She's well and truly uh, finished. That's pretty cool though, that'd be a good wall art. And now I'm gonna get over here. Alright. Get myself a filthy caravan. Another really cool old bus. Well, you've gathered that it's full of old bushes, so it's a smelly one. The old clocks. Because the area is wet, my feet have been, my footprints are everywhere. Two Range Rovers, I'm not looking at them. Oh, Persia. So most of these coaches have got names on them uh, and none of the names lead to the area. So before you start Googling like crazy. Oh, Transit, looks quite nice to be fair. Another big old bus. Some more bushes in the bushes. Buses in the bushes. Old Gherky. Yep, another 15 million seat coach. So there is another, another abandoned uh, coach area that I want to go to. I'm going to go to that place though with a good friend, which you uh, probably know, old big Jordan Bus, um, Viking Views channel. I'm going to meet up with him and we're going to go do that bus place in some other locations. I'm going to try and figure some locations out yet. Same old thing in there with the newest Range Rover, another Bobcat Land Rover, Range Rover, another Land Rover, some more cool buses.
Like I say, the gate was locked from the inside. This is... Yeah. Caravans and fridge freezers. Vitara. Really old uh, Suzuki. Looks like that Daihatsu thing that we found recently. Doesn't it? Looks almost identical to that Daihatsu. A little bit smaller. That's super rare. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. I don't know what the mileage is. 45,000. It's got another steering wheel on. Half another one there. It's a proper classic, this is. There's a lot of 4x4s four here. Another big old bus. Look at the axles there. Some older vintage buses here. Oh God. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This one is a good looking bus. Nice badge there. And then some other good looking buses. Coaches, sorry, coaches. Yeah. All the old seats in there, look. And this really old girl. seats again I just had some gates open uh, a little bit more of a nose but then we'll uh, there's too much noise now way too much noise Yeah, it's a very, very, very strange one. I mean, the locks on these units are new locks, they're not old locks. So that would suggest that this place is used, but then the way the vehicles are, it would suggest they're not used. Well, the area's not used. Oh wow, that's a nice little find. That's a Lastra. So we found this location um, on the maps, obviously, and uh, got a horse watching us, and it's a bit of a dodgy one, like they all are. So we do our best not to get seen and uh, try and bring you some decent footage. Any ideas what that was? It's certainly not what it was, what it is now. This big old truck here, look. Oh, 
load of smiley van there look. Peugeot GTI 205 What a shame for that It's one of those locations where it's just a really rare, rare find. You've got three GTIs so far that I've seen. There's one over there, silver one. There's another red one over there. Hmm. Mileage on this is 132,000. The old tape there, look. All the millennials won't know what they are. <laughs> it looks, to me, it looks like a dog's been sleeping in here. A big dog. The hairs on these seats are a proper big dog. It's got the grid in the back still. GCI clutch, no clutch on this. I don't think there's an engine in it. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. GCI. is full of GTIs. I've spotted two more GTIs. I'm not too sure this is a GTI. I don't think it is. I think these are just standard Peugeots. But they're still two door. Really, really cool old transit uh, van there. That's really cool. That's got a GTI steering wheel. Is this a GTI? Did a doom in this color? This van's really cool. Dead but cool. Really cool pickup, full pickup truck. Got a rover there, another Peugeot. Another 205. That's really cool, isn't it? Well, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to the front of the house and see if um, see if the house is actually empty because all of the upstairs windows just look really crap. Do you know what I mean? This one's been debadged. This one has. It's got an anodized uh, fuel cap. The steering wheel there is probably worth what fucking well, it's kind of, kind of ruined, so it's still worth some money. Got a radiator there, look. I think this geezer, this person, whoever they are, obviously used to strip these. I think. I don't know. Ooh. Bench seat there, look. Got loads of parts here still you can use. No two usable parts. I'm gonna make a walk for it now. On an old, an old Granada estate. Damn, that's cool. Is that a Granada or Cortina? I'm going to say Cortina, an old Cortina estate. Now you don't see them anymore. And then we've got a... Uh, couldn't tell you. Is that an imp? What's that? Couldn't tell you what that was. Is that a Hillman? Is it a Hillman? I don't know. It's got a rear wheel, rear, rear engine. Let me know in the comments what that is. I just, I just took a few guesses at it. <laughs> this person um, is clearly into the uh, the um, army surplus type of vehicles. So my guess is, is he's not the type of person to fuck with. And that looks like a pretty, you know, big dog shed. Oh. Another one of those things over there that's rotted away. Now this to me looks like a uh, a dolly or a Diane. I'm not going to remove the cover because it's going to be too noisy, but I'm pretty sure my guesses are right. It's one of those really thick ones. Judging by that front end, I'm pretty sure my guess is right. Right then, let's go around and see if we can go to the front of the building. Back in a sec. Well, I was kind of right. This place hasn't been worked on in years. CCTV everywhere there. We've got this little 205 Mardi Gras here. That's pretty cool. This is super rare. Super, 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 super rare. I mean, it doesn't look in bad condition, really. Tow bar. I wonder if she's open. Nope, she's not. Got a solar panel in there. Must be trying to get some electric from somewhere. <laughs> Bit of food in the back. Yeah, this one could be saved. Almost soon, this one could be saved. It's not bad at all, really. You may still live in there. Looks like it was a. Uh, Build that was just quit. I've just noticed on the uh, on like a little work desk bench, he's got a shotgun cartridge maker and it's got cartridges in it. Yeah, this is a 
This is a... Mm. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Got some cars here, he has. Is that a uh, Lotus? No, it can't be. Another Mardi Gras. This one looks in a lot better condition than the uh, the one we've just seen. A lot better condition. This looks really, really low mileage. Really, really clean. It's locked. Oh, she's open inside. What's the mileage on this girl? 14,000. <laughs> 14,000 miles on that one. That's nothing. 14,000 miles. It could be 114. Another Peugeot here with a, a tree growing out of it, basically. What a damn shame. Unreal. I bet this one's got a super low mileage too. Um, 16,000 We've got loads of bloody uh, beehives for honey. I just walk straight through them. This one's really nice. This is definitely worth saving. This one is. It's not a GTI, but it's in immaculate condition. I want to go down and have another look at this GTI down here, the actual, the one that I just say GTI and it, see if it's a 1.9. Oh, it's no, it's a 1.6, but it's still super rare. I mean, I'm, I'm blown away that it's left there like that. I mean, this is the only, like, legit one here, I mean... So you got like a blue one over there, I'm not too sure if it's the rare Miami blue uh, GTI, you know. I mean, it could still be a Miami blue 205, but I don't know. But this one here, I'm just... I hate leaving them like I do. I literally can't stand leaving these cars. <laughs> I find them then I just want to save them. I mean this one could be still turned around. There's not a lot that needs changing really. It just needs a good bloody clean. I mean I don't even know what the sills are like. But this window's been put through. I'm sure this is how the dog gets in and out. Because it hasn't been smashed, it's been taken out, look. The question is where's his bloody dog? That's the question. Does it have an engine? Oh yeah, it's still got the engine. No way. Still has the engine. I've only ever found two 1.9 GTIs, 205 GTIs. I've only ever found two. What a shame. Now I've been all over this place about four times and I just can't leave. I mean, I keep walking past things and then going back to them. 
This big American, it's not American, is it? There, it's bloody huge there. Does she open? Oh, she opens. It's got a bloody ecosystem inside. <laughs> you know, that's bloody cool. Look at that. There's the roof thing where you stick out and throw the AK 47 out. <laughs> Definitely army surplus. This is definitely. What a beast of a truck. Beast of a truck, but just left here to basically rot. Right, then I want to quickly go and look at those other ones. Again, look at the Miami blue one. I mean, I've been on over these about seven times. Oh, that's pretty cool, that. We didn't look in the back of this, did we? That's pretty awesome. I mean, we've looked at these about 10 times. Is that a rare one? I'm not sure. We've got a lot of these Mardi Gras ones here. There's quite a few of them. Each one is like in really good condition. This one's done 18,000, might be 118,000. But another blue Mardi Gras, 205. And then we've got another blue Mardi Gras, 205. So that's one, two, three, four. That's five, 205. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, five. This one's got loads of bits in this one, has. Unreal. Oh, that one's got his bloody guts hanging out. Tires are brand new. That's the weird thing about these cars. It's like every one of them have got a little bit taken off. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight uh, Peugeot 205s. Now, in my opinion, that's eight too many. That's been left to do nothing. So I'm going to call this the Peugeot 205 graveyard. I thought there were more GT easier. I think this. That one there, and that one there, that one, and that one. I think that's the two GTEs here. Sorry, GTIs here. But yeah, other than that, there's not much else here. So, uh, hmm. Bit of a tricky one. Honourable mention. Good wheels. The mileage on this one is 106,000. 106,000. I like the Rover Tomcats in these. So we looked at the house and basically uh, the house is, um, it looks like he, he's run out of money and ended up moving into the shed. Mad. That's a poor looking transit uh, flatbed on it. Really poor looking transit flatbed. Oh, I want a space for like another 30 cars. Oh, this thing is just giving up. It's like someone's got a tin opener and pop the side open. Cup four badge. That badge is cool, isn't it? I've had another flipping Ford van. Look at that. It's mad what you find in the bushes. Another Ford Transit van. Same as that one. But there. Do you know what I mean? That was actually parked there and it's just literally fell apart at the seams. This places like this amaze me, they really do. This is another good one folks, it really is. So basically I'm gonna draw this video to an end now. 
Um, the house was amazing. The house, I'm, I haven't been in the house because it's, it's not a place you walk into, to be fair. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a geezer's house. Stunning house. Obviously, he's run out of money at some point. The house is worth easily 500,000, if not more. So, yeah, I hope you like this video. I'm going to call it the 205 graveyard. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, whatever you do, don't limit yourself and keep car hunting. And until next time, nothing but love and respect from East Oxy. Peace. I'm just intrigued to find out what these things are. Because he's got one, two, three, four. What are they? There are the three girls. Got a bit of a dry mouth. There are the three girls. Still sat there, untouched, unloved. Because there's no direct access apart from right down there. And the What the f is that?